Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel in the SAP MM video series. Today, we will discuss master data in SAP MM. Without any further ado, let's get started. In SAP Materials Management, MM, the vendor master is a central repository of information about suppliers or vendors. It contains essential data related to vendors, such as their contact details, payment terms, purchasing organization, currency, and more. Maintaining accurate and up-to-date vendor master data is crucial for efficient procurement processes in an organization. In SAP Materials Management, MM, the Material Master is a central repository of information about materials or products. It contains essential data related to materials, such as their descriptions, dimensions, units of measure, stock availability, pricing, and more. The Material Master is crucial for various procurement, inventory management, and production processes within an organization. In SAP Materials Management, MM, a purchase info record is a record that contains purchasing-related information about a specific material and a specific vendor. It serves as a source of data for procurement processes and helps in ensuring consistency and efficiency in purchasing transactions. In SAP Materials Management, MM, the source list is a procurement feature that specifies approved sources or vendors for procurement of materials. It helps control the selection of vendors during the procurement process and ensures that materials are sourced from approved or preferred suppliers. The source list provides information on which vendors are allowed or blocked for procurement of specific materials. In SAP Materials Management, MM, quota arrangement is a feature used to allocate procurement quantities for a material among multiple approved vendors. It allows you to define the percentage or quantity distribution for each vendor, specifying their respective share of the total procurement quantity. Quota arrangement is commonly used when multiple vendors are capable of supplying the same material and you want to distribute the procurement among them based on predefined proportions. Master data comprises data records that are stored in the database for a long period of time. These data records are stored in a central location and are used and processed on a cross-application basis. This avoids multiple storage and redundancy of data. Vendor master, material master and purchase info record are important are master data in SAP MM. The purchasing info record is a connection between vendors and materials. This reduces the effort required to enter the data. When purchasing documents are created, data is transferred by default from existing master records to the purchasing documents. Categories of Vendor Master Data General Data General data is valid for a single client level. General data includes the vendor's address, control data, bank details, communication, and contact persons. Company code data Company code data is maintained at the company code level. Company code data includes the number of the reconciliation account, correspondence, withholding tax, and the payment methods for automatic payment transactions. Purchasing organization data Purchasing organization data is maintained for each purchasing organization. Purchasing organization data includes the purchase order currency, in terms, partner roles, purchasing data, and various controls pertaining to the vendor. You can also maintain different data for specific plans or for vendor subranges. Account group When creating a vendor master record, you must decide the account group to which you are assigning this vendor. The account group has the functions to control the screens and fields relevant to your business partner that are displayed and are enabled for input. Vendor account group determines the type of number assignment, such as internal or external. Vendor account group determines the vendor status, 
for example, if the vendor is a one-time vendor or a permanent vendor. Vendor account group determines the field selection, such as which fields are ready for input, which fields must be maintained, and which fields are hidden. Vendor account group determines vendor subrange and or plant specific data. Vendor account group determines the valid partner schema for vendor partner function. Reconciliation account. When you create a vendor master record, you need a unique number for the vendor or creditor. This number is assigned either automatically by the system or manually by the administrator, depending on the account group. The creditor number is also used as a subsidiary ledger number in financial accounting. In subledger accounting, the total liabilities are updated for each vendor. When creating a vendor master record, you must also create a reconciliation account. This account is a general ledger account in GL accounting. A reconciliation account depicts a company's liabilities to numerous vendors in GL accounting. When entering invoices, you enter the vendor and the system produces the reconciliation account from the vendor master record. Partner Role The vendor can assume various roles within the business partners of your company. For example, during a procurement transaction, the vendor is first the order recipient, then the goods supplier, and finally the invoicing party. The maintenance of partner roles in the vendor master record allows you to distribute one or more of these roles to different vendors. For example, using the partner role function, you can define a different creditor as a freight forwarder for a certain vendor.